Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing a 10 minute band only strength workout. We're gonna target the entire body. We're gonna be doing 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna hop right in with a band front squat. So you're gonna squat down, stand back up. You wanna make sure the band is about at shoulder height. Ooh, I'm already feeling it. Good, with your squat, you really wanna make sure you have flat planted feet. So big toe, little toe, and heel are pressing into the ground. Good, over halfway. And don't forget to exhale as you stand up. Nice job, last three seconds. Whew. And time, all right, we've got a 15 second break. Our next exercise is going to be a row. So I'm going to have you come double up your band, stand on top of it, and then we're going to be pulling our elbows down and back. And go. Whew. I'm already breathing pretty heavy. This is hard. Good. So for your row, you want to make sure you have a nice flat back and that you're pulling your elbows back towards your hips. You don't want to be pulling up into your shoulders like this. We want to think about using our back muscles to pull and squeeze. And you may see Murphy joining me in this workout. <laughs> Good, we've got 10 more seconds. Really think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. Good, last three, two, and one. Alrighty, two movements done. Next up, we're gonna be doing a good morning. So I'm gonna have the band around my neck doing this. If that's uncomfortable for you, you can always do the band doubled up like this and do a deadlift. All right, so we'll get started. Either movement, you wanna send the hips back, keep your back nice and flat, and then push the hips up at the top. Good, so for this one again, you really wanna make sure you have flat planted feet and you're not letting your toes or your heels come up. Good, last 15 seconds here. Good, really feel that stretch at the bottom. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Alrighty, next up we are going to be doing a curl. So, we're gonna come step into our band, and the lower down you grab on your band, the more tension you're gonna have. The higher up you grab, the less tension you're gonna have. All right, so 45 seconds here. Slight bend in the knees, curl, hold at the top, down nice and slow and controlled. So this one is working our biceps, these guys right here. Whew. Who doesn't love strong arms for carrying groceries? <sighs> or lifting up your dog. <laughs> All right, last 20 seconds. Good, keep nice, slow and controlled movements. Whew. Good, and think about keeping those wrists nice and straight. Try not to let them bend as you pull the band. Good, last three, two, and time. Okie dokie, we're gonna be going into a split squat. So if you wanna use your band for this, you can have it on your front leg as a tension point, um, but you can also ditch the band if you want to and just do it with body weight. All right, so come down and up. Good, so this just adds a little bit of extra tension to the front foot. You wanna look at your knee being over your ankle and nice and open chest and shoulders. Good, for this one we are gonna be switching at halfway. So in three, two, and one, we're gonna switch sides. Same thing, come down and stand back up. Good, and this workout is only 10 minutes. You can get in a full body strength workout in 10 minutes and see massive improvements in your health and your life. And time, nice work. Okay, we are gonna be coming down 
onto our knees for the next exercise. If being on your knees is really uncomfortable, you can sit totally on the ground if you want, um, but I would recommend trying to be on your knees if you can. All right, so coming into our band pull apart, you're gonna have your hands about shoulder width apart. You're gonna pull, open, squeeze, and come back together with control. The closer your hands are together, the more tension your band is gonna have. The farther apart they are, the less tension you'll have. Good. This is really good for your posture. It's opening up your chest, strengthening your upper back. Great for if you're sitting all day or on your phone a lot like me. Good. Last 10 seconds. You've got a couple reps left. Good. Pull open, squeeze. Nice work. You've got three, two, and time. Alrighty, we are gonna come onto our backs and we're gonna be doing a glute bridge. I'm gonna get you to loop the band through both of your feet and then we're gonna pull it up onto our hips. If this feels like a lot of work, feel free to skip the band for this part and just do the bridge. Good, so feet planted, lift the hips up, squeeze, and down with control. So the band is just adding some extra tension as you lift up on your hips here, almost acting like a weight uh, when you don't have one. Good, so you really wanna make sure your knees are pointing outwards. We don't wanna have our knees caving in as we come up. So knees outwards. Good, and really thinking about squeezing your butt to lift your hips up and then lowering with control. This is really good for strengthening your core and preventing lower back pain as well. Good, we've got five seconds left. You can get in two more reps. And last one, nice work. Okay, we've got three exercises left. We're gonna be going into a chest press. So I'm gonna get you to bring the band behind your body. Take hold of the handles if you have handles or the end of the band like me. We're gonna push up and down with control. Good, so you wanna make sure your elbows are just below where your shoulders lie. You don't want our hands to be too high up. Good, and think about squeezing your chest together at the top. Good, great job out there, you guys. You are showing up and doing the work and that is what counts. And if anything is really tough or really easy this time, next time you know you can use a harder band or work towards doing a few more seconds or a few more reps on that exercise. Good, last five seconds. Three, two, and time. All right, final two exercises. We are gonna be doing some core. We're gonna be going into a dead bug pullover for this one. So hands are gonna be about shoulder width apart and you're going to bring the arms back as the leg extends. If this is too challenging, skip the arms and just do the legs. All right, so arms back, hold and pause and come back up. Biggest thing with this movement, like I always talk about, lower back should be pressing into the ground. There should be no gaps the entire time. I am literally shaking doing this because it is so tough. <laughs> Ooh. Good, so press down, open your chest, open your shoulders, press into the mat and come back. Good, we've got 10 more seconds left of this. Stay strong. <sighs> Good, last four. Three, two, and time. Whew. Okay, last one we're gonna be doing a band assisted leg lower down. So feet are gonna come into the band. You can admire your beautiful toenails. And we are going to have the band assist us and challenge us as we come down and back up. Same thing with this one. We want our lower back pressing into the mat. If you wanna lift your head up, if you enjoy doing that and having that extra challenge, you're more than welcome to. If you like keeping your head down, that is fine as well. Whew. Good, and for this one, only go as far as you can keep your back down. Right now, I'm getting really tired right about here, so I'm gonna come back up. You might be able to go farther down. You might need to stop earlier. That is totally fine. Whew. Good, you've got 10 seconds left, and then you are done your workout. Good, last five, four, three, two, one final rep, e, and done. 
Oh my gosh, that was tiring. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys had a great workout. I'm proud of you for being here and can't wait to see you at the next one. Bye.